All right, so I promised you a epic, I overused the word epic, I apologize. A very, very cool, um, let me just turn it around, tour of all the wonderfulness. I'm gonna go in detail of this, so don't you fret. Um, as always, make sure you follow my Facebook account, Justice Curry, because that's where I sell this stuff. I don't sell it everywhere else, this stuff, goes for way cheaper than eBay, way cheaper than anybody else. And if you want to get your hands on this, you have to follow me so you get alerts when I post constantly. So without further ado, let's dive in. Well, hello there, everyone. This is the amazing stop motion animation. I love it so much. But this will be the haul from the Kane County Toy Show in Chicago for 2024. This toy show is now three times a year and it is absolutely one of the best in the world so make your way over there in the future and I'll probably see you there I army build battle cats and panthers. I have way too many, so if you actually need one, you can you can reach out to me. All right, so I got three uh, panthers. I'm gonna save the best thing for last, because this thing, you will see, I've never seen it before, it's incredibly rare. Oh, I'm like paranoid. Oh, is that one? So I live in the country, and we have ticks real bad. Literally, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Two seconds before filming this, let me show you. This is near my butt crack. TMI, I know. Okay. It is a tick. A disgusting little tick. That's the second one I just pulled off because right before I started filming, I felt another one on my chest. I wasn't even in the woods that long. Rinse it down the drain. Bye bye. What is that? There you go. Go, you spawn of Satan. What? Okay, good. Now I gotta make sure you're really bad. You never know what's gonna happen in a Justice Curry video. That's that's definitely for sure. Um, ugh, I feel them all over me right now. Like, jeez. My kid had Lyme's disease. I've had so many darn ticks on me. I hate those sticking things. All right, I uh, averted the tick situation, so let's get back into toys. Um, I've been collecting those two packs, DC versus Masters of the Universe. If you have um, like the Faker one, I can't remember the other one I need. So I got a, the, the Green Lantern versus Zodak, which is sweet. And then for my friend, Steve Bashotti from the My Wife Is Gonna Kill Me podcast. He had this one for sale. And gave me a good price. One of the first things I bought, it's nothing of value, it's nothing I've ever even seen before. It just, I don't know, I had that mad ball kind of look to it. It was only a couple bucks, and I went, that's fun. I don't know, there's probably slime in it. I don't even know when, how old it is. Uh, I bought a couple He Man and Skeletors. Uh, let's see, I'll show you all of them. So I got them down here, some swords. These are the ones people ask me for the most, so I grab them. This had an interesting story behind it. So I'm in a booth, and there's a ton of them, including that, all stacked up, like 40 of them. There's a guy standing there, I'm standing there. There's men on cards, and I'm looking at them, I'm like, 12 bucks? That's a freaking steal of a deal. I pick it up, I'm looking at it, and the guy next to me goes, asks the, uh, the lady running the booth, how much for all of them? And she's like, oh, we can make a deal. And he looks at me, he's like, well, I was looking at these, um, so that's part of my thing. I want to buy them all. And I go, dude, if you had said how much for all of them, and then I grabbed it, I said, yeah, that's probably not right. 
but I grabbed it before you said anything. It's not like you can walk up to a table and say, claim everything. And there's some etiquette that goes on at places. So we had a little back and forth and I'm like, dude, I'm buying this. Um, and they, in the same booth, they had a min on card Triclops with the ring. Granted, it's a little yellow, but I've never seen one that's not yellow. A decent price. I'll be selling this later, so hit me up if you're interested in it. Um, like I said, I always be eat bay. People always ask me for Matt Tracker and the Thunder... Thunder Cracker? I'll edit that in to make myself sound smart. Um, Thunder That's Hawk. the problem with doing these videos that I don't edit in <laughs> properly. I have to have a lot of fuzzy toy knowledge up here. I know it's like not Thunder Machine. Thunder Cracker sounds right. Thunder Hawk. Uh, my buddy Brad in his booth he had this neat Voltron anytime I see Voltron odds and ends I mean they made cameras they made swords they made everything under the Sun I've never seen this before it was the right price it has this little area to put in like water but I don't see like a pumping action or batteries or anything so I'm not sure how, how the water even squirts out of there very bizarre if you know comment down below um, a Roddy Piper. The card is jacked up. It got wet at some point, but it's still a mint on card. So instead of spending 100, 200 bucks on a cherry one, I can buy this, resell it, make a couple bucks, and someone a lot of times will then send this into a grading service like AFA CAS, and then they'll rip it off and, and grade it. So it's like the mint of the mint. My buddy Ken Mason, who started a YouTube channel recently, he had reached out to me asking me a bunch of questions on how to start one, and I, you know, helped him out. So when I saw him at the King County Toy Show, he had purchased this, which I believe is a Muscleoid. Yeah, because um, I have other ones. And he gave it to me as a gift, so thank you, Ken. Yeah, this is one I've had for a little bit. And they make a bigger versions of all of these. It's neat. Um, this is quite interesting as well. I saw it and I'm like, what is that? Infinity Gauntlets, 1991, pack it. I open it up and it is like a press kit that they would give to comic book shops in order for them to promote their, um, the new Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlets. So these would be like shelf talkers where you fold them over and you put them in the comic book spots to advertise, you know, get people to come in there or see it and go, whoa, what's this? And then a beautiful poster. So I'll be selling this. Let me know if you're interested. Um, the only way to get this kind of stuff was to have the press packets. So a huge, huge poster, beautiful. And then like a multitude of these shelf things. That's one, two, three, four, five neat things you know I buy it for the right price and then sell it for cheaper than eBay and find the next home for it um, this I bought personally from my friend Juan thank you Juan for the hookup uh, I remember getting this one as a kid I, I also remember like eight years ago you could go to Kane and find these all day long for 20 bucks and now they went boop, 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 going up not too bad the top was coming loose of the blister so I think he only charged me like 30 bucks for it just because of that condition air and I mean this this thing's five bucks alone the, the case that it came in so fond memories of uh, Egon here and then oh no no I'll show you why I'm crying here in a moment not the end of the world um, Frank Frazetta puzzle, and this is one of the most iconic pictures, and he's done so much art in the 70s, 80s, maybe early 80s, but uh, a puzzle of the death dealer, and I mean, the art on this, all of his stuff, that fantasy, dark, oh, it's wild, it's really, really cool. I don't know if it's complete or not, it was for the right price when I grabbed it, like a couple pieces fell out, but I'll grab them in a moment. Um, pound puppies. Why not grab a vintage pound puppy? 
because there is no reason why not to do it, but the reason to do it is because I had this very one as a kid. So they reissued them a number of years ago, so this is a reissue, and my brother had one, and I had one. So reissue and original, and these are the two that we had growing up. I can't tell, I don't remember right now, off the top of my head, which one was which, who's at whose, because it was kind of like both of ours, but um, several fond memories of these two pound puppies. Um, I love digging into parts bins, you know, thousands and thousands of parts of G.I. Joe's, and they're selling them for, you know, a dollar here, a dollar there. Sometimes it's a little more expensive, like... I think I ended up buying Scarlett's crossbow for $5, even though we had seven on it. People are willing to deal because Scarlett's an expensive $80 figure. And I don't normally have this crossbow. It's always the lighter gray, which is the accessory pack. But these were real cheap. You got to dig, dig, dig through thousands of parts. And I'm like, oh, Toxo Viper. And there's another character that has the same backpack. Or a 94 figure or the tactical bat of platform i think i don't think that's the flag one i think that's it could be the flag but i think it's the tactical battle platform uh big boas is that big boa or is that cobra commander's air hose i'm drawing a brain fart right here snake armors pieces various helmets so anytime i can find pieces that i know i don't have a ton of i grab them because the pieces is where it's at uh like I'm not sure if people really want them or not, but uh, it was Play-Doh that came with the Mega Marines, and you mold it into these things and make like Play-Doh army armor. Uh, and then, last but not least, this sucker. I saved the best for last. Now, uh, for my older folks, or you know, even younger, because this was before my time, but I still have fond memories of the Clash of the Titans, the stop motion animation. Bobo, is I think his name is, might mess that up, but it's very close. The Owl, and this is a 1960s radio. Yes, radio. Let me turn it around so I have both hands. It was in a junk booth filled with like stuff I didn't care about, but I saw this and I go, oh wow, what's that? It's just like, a, you know, told me the price and it was up there and I'm like, yeah, whatever. I walked away, I looked it up on eBay. And I went, there's none listed for sale. The only ones that have sold is the $300 range and quite rare for them to actually be working. Um, let's see. Um, um, it does work. I, I assure you I was listening to music through it, but I have horrible cell phone service. My house is like built on the side of the hill, so. That's why I'm not getting any radio reception down here. Um, I'll probably put an expensive price tag on this because there's none available. So you, the only person selling one would be me. So it'd probably be in the four or $500 range. I don't know. And if it doesn't sell, I don't care. It'll sit on my shelf until that guy comes and goes, I want it. Now, if I didn't have any connection to it, didn't care about it, yeah. Give me 200 bucks, gone, gone, next thing, next thing, next thing. But since I like it, I'd rather keep it and I want to get the money out of it that I believe is uh, deserved. So, Love Kane County had so many fantastic adventures, talking with a million different people. It's like my home toy show. I've been going to it for 10 plus years. It's so fantastic. Digging in bins, finding these toys, adding things for my personal collection, selling other things that I don't quite need. It's the fun part. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to YouTube or wherever I'm posting this. Put show, Throw a comment down here. Throw a comment on what you would have bought uh, out of this lot or what you're looking for. I'm always curious. I read those comments on what people are looking for. So hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Take care of it.